Hello everybody, it's Taylor, and today we are going over, in today's episode of My Favorite Engine History, we are going over the General Electric P42DCs, as you all know in the title of this video, and uh, yeah, today um, we are doing the General Electric P42DCs and how they were made, so without further ado, let's get started. So, let's get into the specs of the P42DC. Now, I don't really know what their prime mover is, but but I do know that um that they output 4250 horsepower with a top speed of 177 kilometers an hour. However, BRL's P42DCs only have a top speed of 100 and 160 kilometers an hour. Amtrak's P42 DCs were to replace their, their F40 PH fleet. However, Vero's P42 DCs was to replace their Bombardier LRC fleet. The Bombardier LRCs are, are better than exhaust than the General Electric P42 DCs are, are to this day. However, the coaches are still in service of VIA. However, I do like the new, I mean, the old P42 horns before being replaced by the P42 horns that we know nowadays, which is a, which is a, sounds like the emergency horn, but it's not the emergency horn, which I will, which I will, which I will give you a sample of the old horn now. Now for the P-42 horns that we know today. Now with the difference of the Amtrak P-42 DCs and the VIA P-42 DCs. The Amtrak P-42 DCs have standards unlike the VIA P-42 DCs that don't. Another difference between the Amtrak P42 DCs and the VIA P42 DCs. If I pause this video here, let me just go to my gallery, so I'll be back. The VIA P42 DCs have a have the addition of the high intensity discharge headlight. Unlike Amtrak's P42 DCs, we're at the high intensity discharge headlight spot. They have the Amtrak logo instead. Another difference is, is that VSP 42 DC fleet don't have sanders. Unlike Amtrak's P42 DCs, which does have sanders. Now, a noticeable thing about this P42 DC that I caught on VN 97 back in March, I mean May, is that um that there is a not, that there are two builders plates on the Amtrak P42 DCs. Or it might just be me thinking about the Amtrak P42 DCs because I just previewed a video and it and the P42 DC on that train only had one builder's plate. Thanks for watching this episode of my favorite engine history. Next episode, we will do... The Bombardier LRC next, but if I get enough, uh, but if, but if then I'll do the SD40-2, and then I'll do the F9 plus FP9Us, and then the, um, then for the final episode of my favorite engine's history, we will do the GP38s. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all next time. Bye.